Trinada pi sunichena, Taradi vasahishnuna, Amanina manadena, Kirtani asada hari, Hare nama, Hare nama, Hare nama iba kevalam, Kalo nastyeva, nastyeva, nastyeva gatiranyata, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Welcome everyone. Tonight I'm going to speak about something I entitled The Highest Philosophy of Life. I'm going to tell a story of an event that took place 5,000 years ago in your Bharata Varsha when Lord Sri Krishna was walking on this earth. We should never think that these are simply stories. They are histories. They are actual events that took place on earth 5,000 years ago. And they were recorded by Srila Vyasadeva in his final masterpiece known as Srimad Bhagavatam. So before speaking, the tradition is to chant the 12 syllable mantra. You can repeat after me. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So the Leela took place in Kurukshetra. But this was before the battlefield of Kurukshetra, before the Mahabharat War. The occasion was a solar eclipse. And the residents of Vrindavan and the residents of Dwaraka simultaneously went to Kurikshetra in order to observe the solar eclipse. And during the time of the eclipse, they fasted, they gave charity, they chanted prayers, they worshipped God. So the residents of Vrindavan and the residents of Dwaraka were actually intimate friends. And the residents of Vrindavan were reuniting with these friends after a long, long time. If you recall, when Krishna was 11 years old, Akrura took Krishna and his brother Balaram out of Vrindavan brought them to Mathura because Kamsa had told Akura to do that. And Kamsa was thinking that by my schemes, I will kill Krishna and Balaram. But as it turned out, Krishna killed Kamsa. And before Krishna and Balaram left Vrindavan, their chariot was stopped by Srimati Radharani and the gopis who tried to prevent them from leaving. And Krishna consoled them by saying that I just have to go and kill some demons and I'll be right back. But what happened was after Krishna killed Kamsa he was reunited with his real parents Vasudev and Devaki because Vasudev had to switch Krishna upon his appearance on the order of Krishna 
and switched with the baby girl that was born to Yashoda. So for 11 years, Yashoda and Nanda are thinking Krishna is our son. But in actuality, Krishna is the son of Vasudev and Devaki. So after the killing of Kamsa, the truth was revealed. And Nanda Maharaj hears from Krishna the actual truth. And there's a heartful exchange. Krishna apologizes to Vasudev and Devaki, saying that I am sorry that I could not be present for these 11 years. And so it was agreed that Krishna would spend some time with Vasudev and Devaki and later he would return back to Vrindavan. But what happened was after Krishna uh, rejoined Vasudev and Devaki he went to school, the Gurukula under the tutelage of Sandipani Muni and then Krishna married only 16,108 wives and lived in his city on the western coast of India known as Dwaraka and he never did return to Vrindavan. At this occasion of the solar eclipse by this time Krishna has children and grandchildren. Many, many years have gone by. So when Krishna and his queens and the members of the Yadu dynasty arrived in Kurukshetra and they met the residents of Vrindavan, it was a very, very heart-wrenching scene that finally, after so many years, Krishna was with his mother, Yashoda and Nanda. There was a nice exchange between Vasudev and his sister Kunti. And Kunti explained to Vasudev, his, her brother, that her and her sons, the Pandavas, had to go through many tribulations while they were being harassed by the Kauravas. And then there is a description of the glories of King Ugrasena. King Ugrasena, although Krishna is residing in Dwaraka, he's not the king. He's a prince. Ugrasena is the king of Dwaraka. And it is revealed that Ugrasena, you are in a glorious position because Krishna stays in your kingdom. And then Vasudev and Devaki, when they meet Nanda and Yashoda, again they glorify them, saying, you were so great. You took care of Krishna in Balaram for those first 11 years. We cannot ever repay you for what you have done taking care of our Krishna and Balaram. Meanwhile, there were various conversations between the Yadu dynasty and the residents of Vrindavan. So at a certain point, Krishna stole away and he met privately with the gopis. Now the gopis have been waiting years and years and years to be reunited, reunited with Krishna. So this is the part that I am going to speak on, which I entitled, Krishna instructs the gopis on the highest philosophy of life. But before